Hey guys, Danish Kasamali here, owner of Silky Socks. And today's video, people kept asking me, hey, I want those long length boxers. Those ones that go almost to my knees. My athlete, student athletes are asking for them, my kids are asking for them. So in my hands, I'm holding the regular length and what we call the long length premium boxer briefs. So I'm gonna show you guys the difference between these two and we're gonna press a couple of these together in this video. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay guys, so here on the table, I have the size large of each item. This is the standard men's boxer and this is the new long length premium boxer brief. So basically we've, they're made up of the same construction, same waistband, same polyester spandex material, very stretchy, very comfortable. It's a premium, nice material. And it also has the same cotton crotch here, that cotton layer for comfortability and gives you that extra protection. Basically, the only main difference here you'll find is this extra three inches on the leg. Now three inches doesn't sound like a lot, but that makes up all the difference because now, instead of it coming about halfway onto my leg, it goes down almost just right above my knee right here. So, because the standard length is, is a medium length, it's not like a super tight one, it's a medium length, and now the long length comes down to about here. Now, of course, everybody's a little different, um, but that's kind of generally the idea here. And this is a super popular product amongst the athletes today, basketball players and football players. And when they're training, they like to wear those short shorts, you'll see. And then you can see these boxer briefs sticking out from under their shorts or when they pull their shorts up a little. All right, and in making these, I did a lot of research on some of the premium boxer briefs, the long length underwears in the market that I could find, the Ethica, the PSD, and other ones. So. You guys probably seen me uh, do some do some of that R&D and research in our Facebook group. So you can definitely depend on the quality of these. Mr. Silky himself developed them, so how dope is that? Now uh, we do have templates available on silkysocks.com in the resources section. And besides that, are you guys ready to make some of these? Let's go make, not the basic ones today, not the regular ones, we're gonna make these premium ones, I'm gonna do two different designs. First, I'm gonna do a simple one that just presses a logo here. Then I'm gonna do an all over print here and we're gonna do that together. Y'all ready? Let's go and do that. All right guys, so first one I'm gonna do is going to be this pink silky squad transfer sheet. Simple text that basically goes right over the crotch area as you've probably seen it's popular like basketball shorts. So basically, it's a good idea to lint roll. So I'll give it a quick lint roll. This is basically recommended when you're doing white backgrounds. But if I was doing an all over press, then it's not necessary. All right. So, got that out of the way. And I'm just gonna lay it down and press. A pre-press is optional if you wanted to uh, get some of the extra wrinkles out, but it looks pretty good to me. So, here we go. And we've got it set to 400 degrees, 60 seconds, with a high pressure. You wanna be pretty high on this one, and we'll see how it turns out. So you guys see the it's part of the leg sticking out? Yeah, so this is a 16 by 24 heat press, and we've got this sticking out. It doesn't matter on this design, but you'll see why that's super important when I do the all over print design. All right, 60 seconds are up. Let's see how that looks, squad. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. 
the detail we've got some pink some tones there some gray and some black nice little silky squad design I do have this design for sale uh, in the digital file section on silkysocks.com so you can get that all right there is the finished product here put it up next to me so a little bit about the sizing guys boxer briefs I researched this they do tend to run fitted so ours are pretty true to size but I put on our website and I'll tell you this I recommend you ordering one size up if you want like a looser more relaxed fit so I'm pretty much a true large now at this point gained a little bit of weight since I first started silky socks I'm about 170 so I do like the large but a lot of times I actually wear extra large as well because I get that super relaxed fit so order one size up if you want a relaxed fit two sizes up if you want a very relaxed fit uh, and if you like them tight and compressed like boxer briefs then I'd say just order your true size so if I really wanted it tight I'd order a medium and then I, I, I do the large a lot and sometimes I even do the extra large so yeah but there you can see it I'm pretty much done with this that was an easy one side sub I could do the same thing on the back if I wish to but now I'm gonna go to this all over print guy okay guys so now I'm gonna do this all over boxer brief but here's the situation my heat press is 16 by 24 these boxers are actually bigger than that check it out if I try to put this straight on the press it's gonna hang off a little bit here because it's bigger than 16 inches it's about 17 here um, if I do it here still I can't get an all-over coverage in one press and some of you guys most of you guys I would think if you have a 16 by 20 or 15 by 15 or a 16 by 24 you're gonna run into the same issue so that's why the standard men's boxers that they actually fit in the 16 by 24 but now that we added those those uh, this longer length we're gonna have to get really creative when we're pressing these so couple tips that I've seen work beautifully someone in our Facebook group she just killed it with a 15 by 15 press you can see that photo I've just put here um, and she used a board like a wood board uh, a, a cardboard kind of board you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's and basically attach the garment to the board and then you just move your board around I don't have the board another uh, so I'm gonna do it a different way another way you can do is use spray Let's say you, you uh, I think that would work if you use adhesive spray and then you attached your transfer sheet with the spray, but I don't have the spray on me either. So you know what we do, we're just gonna press it and see what happens and I'm here with you guys. No, uh, no pre-rehearsal, we're just gonna do it and see what happens. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to lay it down with this first half I'm going to basically split it on the crotch line in a sense, an imaginary line. I'm making an imaginary line down the middle and I'm going to put my transfer sheet on here, let it hang off. Then my genius idea is to press it once, flip it, turn it, and then put the second half of the transfer sheet and see how that goes. All right. Wish me luck. Because I don't know if this is gonna work but we're gonna try together so I'm gonna lay this over just over the edge here and let this kind of hang off a bit so I'll fold my paper over a bit and we'll go ahead and push this in and press so guys I do not recommend you do it my way I recommend you maybe get the board or the adhesive spray but I wanted to try it out for this video and we'll see if it works all right if anything you'll see that Donish did the method that you should not do so let's let's see we're gonna find out okay guys you ever seen this half sublimated sheet before on the press let's see it oh it's openness 
first half looks good. First half looks good. Oh, looks like I could have gotten a little more pressure here. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the pressure on the second half, maybe add like five more seconds as well. So we move this off. I'm gonna swap out my crop paper now. And this is how we're gonna do the second half. Bam. And uh, basically, the reason I'm not just putting it further on and is because I'm trying to avoid the double pressing as much as possible. Because if I double press some of the sublimated area, it kind of mutes the color a little bit. So in case you're wondering, so that's why I'm doing this hang off the, th the press technique. And let me crank up my pressure a little. And I'm going to change my time. I thought the color was a little light on certain parts right here. So you can see that. It's a little bit light on this part. So that might be because I could probably give it some more time and overcome that. Might be because I'm on the edge of my press. But let me uh, do this now and see what happens. Now I'm putting the side that's not pressed, and this is going to hang off. Nice. Alright, relax, good. Go with that. Let's go with that. Hold it down and press. Huh. Crazy technique, y'all. Crazy technique. But we'll see what we'll see how it looks when this side's done. Okay. Let's see the result here. Alright. Nice, that extra five seconds helped a lot with the color. All right, so you can see this side, beautiful. There's my overlap line, which you do want to minimize that a little bit as best you can. And then there's my first side, a little bit of the fadedness right here. Um, so basically just an increase in pressure, higher pressure and five more seconds. And then it looks like this, beautiful. So I'm loving that, I'm loving that. I don't so much love the line, but you guys see how I did that. It doesn't look that bad on this, uh, on this kind of pattern because it's so busy that you kind of get away with it a little bit. So you gotta look at your design and see, see what's up. All right guys, so now for my second side, I'm gonna do something slightly different. I basically cut the transfer sheet in half. So now I'm gonna do the first the half a sheet and then the second time I'll do a half a sheet. I think that'll help me line it up a little better. But we'll do this together and see what happens. So I got my first side, bam. So yeah, instead of having a sheet, a sublimation sheet hang off, now I just have the boxer hanging off, and then I'll use this second sheet on the second side. All right, first side. Damn, looks pretty good. Got a couple wrinkles here, but because it's a white got the design has some white in it that's gonna that's gonna get hidden pretty well all right now the second side let's try leaving this on like so just gotta put my transfer sheet over that and then I'm gonna use a cover sheet on top of that so here goes the transfer sheet Just 
making sure it covers on all four sides there. Slight overlap. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll put this over it to protect some of the part that was getting double pressed. And we'll see how that comes out. All right, let's see if that did the trick. Ooh, nice, I like it, like it. Man, that definitely looked cleaner. And the line here, the overlap's not too bad. All right, done with my two silky boxers, the all over. Yep, I like the the back side. This is the back. I like the back better. The second side I did. The front, my overlap was a little too high, too much. And here is my Silky Squad pink one that I made. Super dope. So guys, here's my reflections on these. I think first of all, it's an amazing product that you're gonna love. So are our normal boxers. Just engineered with so much comfort, love, and care, and I literally wear them wear them every day. Now I wear either the regular the regular silky boxers or the premium long length boxer briefs. And I think based on this, if you wanna keep it simple, try to do stuff like this. You know, it'll be pretty much hassle free. Customers will probably enjoy them and the, the logos will stand out nicely. Now, if you wanna get crazy and you wanna take some risk, go ahead and do this. Just let your customers know that hey, there's going to be some slight overlap in, uh, in the on a line kind of thing, some slight defects because I got to press it two, three, four times depending on the size of your heat press. And I would take a photo of maybe the first one you did and then just show them. Show them photos of this overlap, show them how it would look and more often than not, they're going to be cool with it if they really, really want it. I mean, think about it, you could put faces all over, you could put like a team logo all over, a nice pattern, their, their brand all over, so much you could do with these. So my encouragement to you guys is just try. As you see, I was trying live on video, publishing this video and failing, but hey, we're still going. Silky Squad, we going. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Do join our Facebook group as well, Sublimation with Silky Socks. That's where I'm always showing behind the scenes of stuff like this. First to announce new product drops and sales and specials. And of course, vibe with all of you sharks and soak in that abundance. 2022 is gonna be off the charts. Happy holidays to all of you guys. And let's continue to grow our businesses with dope products and continue to bless everybody's feet, booty, and faces. Let's get it. Every good idea starts up here first. So one last piece of encouragement is spend time alone in thought, think, go to a coffee shop, wake up early when everyone's asleep, or stay up a little later, and just sit alone and think. Write down those ideas that come to your head, I have a journal and that's what I do. So every, literally every product, idea, every execution, first is thought of and written down and then brought to life. And we do that and that's how we get the abundance and continue to make these great products. Let's get it y'all. And 